Hey, Shay, it's Rick Cowan, Beautiful Beast of Softball. How are you doing? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Enjoying the day. It's beautiful. We've had uh, a cold front come through, and we're enjoying oh, cool, cooler temperatures in Texas. How about you guys? Yeah, um, it's it was pretty hot, like, especially with the fires. It was making everything, like, I got in the car at 10 a.m., and it was 106 degrees. I was like, oh. this is ridiculous for 10 a.m., but um, it's cooling down now. It's getting a little cooler, so that's good. And are you guys safe from the fires? Yeah, we've had some ash um, on our cars, but we can't see the smoke from the fires or anything. Okay, well, good. So it's good that you guys are out of that path, and obviously all of us wish that you guys stay safe and are no longer in that path, right? So for sure. Hey, I wanted to I wanted to ask you just a few things, and for people who who don't know Shay, uh, Shay is our uh, beautiful beast, a softball fitness leader, who took it upon herself to organize. I think it was fourteen or sixteen weeks. Um, yeah. We we did it. Is that right? Yeah, it was it was a while. Yeah, and uh, so right in the middle of all of our COVID stay-at-home orders. Uh, Shay was organizing the fitness workouts uh, for literally girls across the nation. And so uh, yeah, I can't... It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun and very thankful because, you know, it's a stressful time when uh, young people aren't around their friends. And I think it was a great escape to uh, help people have some sense of normalcy. So, you know, hats off to you, Shay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I wanted to talk to you just for a few minutes about your um, your summer and the and the impact from COVID nineteen. What are you guys doing, and and how are you how are you staying in your game? Um. So, ever since uh, COVID happened, I've been working out every morning, and that has gotten me just to the next level. I'm getting faster. I'm getting stronger, which is all good. So I've really just been uh, maintaining my workouts. And just putting in the work because I know even if I can't play some weekends because of Corona, I'm I'm constantly putting in the work so that when I do get to play full time, then everything will pan out. And right now we are playing almost every weekend, which is good. So everything's starting to ramp up a little more, and um, soon we'll be going to some out of state tournaments. We're going to be in Texas for the Bombers tournament, November 6th through the 8th. So I'm super excited for that. Obviously, I'm super excited about that because you're gonna be coming here and I'm gonna get to, a chance to see you and get yeah. a autograph ball and autograph <laughs> a ball for you and you get to autograph a ball for me. So that's gonna be, be a great ball exchange. Yeah. Um, so you guys are doing some tournaments now. What about school? Are you are you back in school? Is 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 fall ball in California a thing, or is it? Are you? What are you doing in school right now? Um. So right now, for another week, I will be online, and then starting the 29th, I'm going back for hybrid. So I'll be going back uh, two days for school and three days for softball. So uh, the three days that I have seventh period is when I have softball, and we'll be going for an hour but we are not allowed to use balls and not allowed to like actually play. So it's going to be conditioning and running through plays like first and third and working on cutoffs. So we're not totally going back right away, but we're going to start off slow and ramp up. I got you. T tell me, are you guys having to wear masks and stuff like that during your practices now or, or are you, are you, um, for uh, uh, travel ball, we haven't been just because okay. I think it's a little less with travel ball. But with high school, it's like under a district and stuff. Okay. So we are going to be having to wear masks and getting temperature checks every yep. same, time we're up on the field. Same same thing going on here. It's I guess it's part of the UIL uh, requirements here as well. Um, talk. Talk to me a little bit about what's been going on recruiting wise. What's what's been the activity and kind of where are you at in, in the process? Um, yeah, so I have talked to um, some coaches and I've been sending a bunch of emails out just trying to put a lot of content 
content out into the world and on social media because that's really the only way coaches can see me. So the more contact content that I get out into social media, the more the coaches will be, will be able to see me. And I've been sending handwritten notes to colleges and emails just to get my name out there. And um, I'm planning on attending a couple camps um, at colleges that ask me to attend. So I'm super looking forward to that. Well, good. We are all anticipating your commitment announcement. So <laughs> me too. I'm yeah. excited. Um, you know, the recruiting process has been a little crazy with the extension of the of the dead period. So mm -hmm. what what advice would you give to, you know, others that are kind of in the same boat that you are right now, trusting the process and kind of trusting God right now? Uh, well, me and my dad have always talked about, like, control what you can control. So I can't control what NCAA rules are with recruiting. I can't control what the coaches are, what the coaches are allowed to do. So what I'm trying to do for myself is every time I play a game, ball out. I'm going 100% because I'm trying to get the most amount of content so that I can send to coaches to get my name out there. Because if they can't see me, I have to do everything that I can for me to get in contact with them. So my biggest advice would just be control what you can control and just go with the flow. Because I feel like Honestly, in everything right now with what's happening in our world, we just have to go with the flow and control what you can control. Yeah, that's good advice. And, you know, I, I coach a 12U team. So what would you say to the 12U girls that are looking up to, to you? Um, I would say never give up. Always put in more work. The more work you put, out, put in, the better you're going to do in games. Even if you're like, oh, I feel like, I don't want to, I don't want to practice right now, but then you have to think to yourself, well, what if in the game, what if you get a bad hit? You're like, oh, I need to practice more. But last week you didn't practice. So just always be putting in constant work so that it'll pay off in the games. And uh, every game go out a hundred percent. Like if the ball hits you, you'll be okay. It's just a bruise. You will be okay. Um, yeah, just go 100% all the time. Well, really great advice. And I will make sure that my 12U team gets a chance to see this, this interview. Not all of them are on social media yet, but we're, we're trying to get them uh, the exposure as well. Yes, I'd um, love to meet them sometime. Well, them. maybe when you're here in November, we can make that happen to some degree. Yeah. Let's that would do be, it. Yeah, that would be perfect. Awesome, for sure. Okay. Hey, I, I wanted to also just kind of wrap it up and just say, you know, you've you've really been one that beautiful Beast Nation has has turned to uh, look at because you're such a leader, um, impeccable uh, young lady that's always well prepared. And and on behalf of all of us, we want to say thank you. Thank you. That means so much to me. Just to have you guys' support and whatever I do, I know you guys are going to have my back. So thank you, everyone. Well, we appreciate you, you. Thank you for doing everything. Oh. You're the man behind it. You were the man. So thank you. You're a funny kid. Appreciate the kind words. Yes. Hey, take, take care. I'm going to uh, talk to you again soon, okay? Sounds great. Thank you.